All right, so in this problem, uh, we're given parametric equations for a curve, and we want to come up with a rectangular equation that describes that same curve, right? So rectangular, of course, meaning uh, in terms of x and y, right? Okay, so how do we do it? Well, probably it looks easier between the two. It looks easier to solve for t in terms of x. Um, well, or maybe t squared, right? We don't actually need t. Let's solve for t squared. So from here, we can see that, uh, that t squared plus 1, just sort of cross-multiply, t squared plus 1 is, is 1 over x. So that means that t squared is 1 over x minus 1. And we could always write that as, if we get a common denominator, write that as 1 minus x over x. Okay? Um, okay. Actually, this is kind of useful. We have t squared plus 1 is here, right? And t squared is here. So y is now equal to, what is y equal to? y is equal to t squared. Um, so y is 1 minus x over x, okay? Divided by t squared plus 1. Here's t squared plus 1. So dividing by t squared plus 1 is multiplying by 1 over t squared plus 1. We take the reciprocal. Um, we're multiplying by x over 1. So, oh, y is just 1 minus x. Huh, it's a straight line, right? Okay, easy enough. Now, one of the things you do want to be careful about here, though, it is a straight line. We know how to graph y equals 1 minus x. Simple enough, right? Slope minus 1, intercept 1, done. But you got to be mindful of domain. We didn't, res we didn't place any restriction on the value of t here, so t could be any real number, let's assume. But do we get all possible real numbers for x, right? What's the range? What's the range of, of these parametric equations? Well, notice that that denominator, right, is never, never going to get close to 0, right? The smallest the denominator can be is 1. So the biggest x can get is 1. Um, but the denominator can go to zero, right? It never reaches zero, but it can approach zero as t goes to infinity. Um, so x can get arbitrarily close to zero. Um, and so the maximum for x is one. Um, lower bound for x is zero, but we don't reach it, so it's not a minimum. Um, so notice that uh, for, for t, anywhere between minus infinity and infinity, x has got to be between 0 and 1, but not including 0. So if you were going to, you know, sketch this line, right, we have to be a little bit careful that um, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, but we don't actually include that point, right? So that is not included. That point is included. So we don't get the whole line. We only get that little piece of the line right there, right? Um, so you do have to be careful about these things when you're parametrizing, right? Just because you get the equation y is equal to 1 minus x doesn't mean you get the whole line y is equal to 1 minus x. If it came from parametric equations, you have to think about the role of the parameter.